Hello, 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 and good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. It's my birthday. Yes, I'm still one of those people that get excited about my birthday. Um, I am in my 30s. I will get glammed up today, but not for this video. Um, because as a lot of my videos, this is about breastfeeding. Um, I wanted to save this video to do for my birthday um, because I think it's kind of fun. So breastfeeding is full of myths and people's thoughts and assumptions. And I wanted to just debunk a lot of those myths that people have heard, people have been told. Um, people um, wrote in to me asking me questions of. So let's get into that. Oh. And because it's my birthday, I do accept birthday wishes, I accept cash gifts, I accept um, gift cards and things like that. I'll have all that information in the description box below. And thank you in advance for that now. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so before... Um, I get too carried away let me go ahead and get into that I have my notes here and I'm going to be getting into my myths so myth number one formula has more vitamins than breast milk okay so <laughs> this is the biggest lie formula can't come close to the vitamins nutrients um everything that's in breast milk like can't come close to it so like just to to put in the picture form this right here shows you a comparison of how much um vitamins breast milk has compared to formula like there's no comparison Bre formula is pretty much created to imitate cow's milk goat's milk um things like that is not new is not made to um, resemble breast milk in any form um, mostly because breast milk can make antibodies to help your baby battle whatever illnesses you may be having colds flu apparently the COVID I put that here one mom um, contracted COVID she was COVID positive her milk changed from um, a beautiful healthy yellow to a bright COVID positive um, antibody to, I think the color of it was green, to keep her baby safe um, from that pandemic. But that is myth number one. In other words, formula can't come close to what's in breast milk. Myth number two. Breastfeeding is easy. Okay. Hmm. Breastfeeding is not always an easy thing. It can be very easy, but that does come with learning your baby, learning your body, and learning what to do. I have several videos posted on ways to hold and feed your baby and other little videos to make breastfeeding easy um, for new moms and um, experienced moms who don't really have experience with breastfeeding. Um, but I do have videos on that. I'll have those videos linked in the description box below. Or you might be able to do a click a up here and get in those videos. So next myth, number three. Doctors are experts about breastfeeding and helpful. Okay, so that is definitely a myth. Most doctors do not even have the proper training or education when it comes to breastfeeding. And I did say most. I did not say every doctor. So don't get into my comments saying, well, my doctor is such and such and such. I did not put every doctor in that category because some doctors are informative. Um, mostly the ones that have gone through breastfeeding themselves. Other doctors will just refer you to a lactation consultant. Um, which is the best thing to do if you do not know. But like I was saying, most doctors do not have the proper training. Um, so it is best to have a lactation consultant you are familiar with. Usually if you have your baby in the hospital setting, they have a group of lactation consultants that will come around and ask if you are interested in breastfeeding and ask if you need any help. If it's already documented that you will be breastfeeding your child. Um, and then there are companies out there who can help with that. 
a lot of times your doula, if you have been in the midwifery program, your doula works with a lactation consultant or is a lactation consultant herself. Sorry. I have my baby here who had just finished the feeding and he is messing with everything that is around him. Um, but yes, like I was saying, it is best to have a lactation consultant. Um, and I am working on becoming a lactation consultant and I am working on becoming a doula as well as becoming a nurse. These are things that I would like to do on the side when I have free time outside of nursing. Um, okay, my fourth um, myth. Mothers with small breasts have less milk. So, ladies, um, everyone, I want to stress or I can't stress enough that your breast size has nothing to do with how much milk you create. You follow your baby's cues. You demand oh. feed. Sorry, he was kicking in my stomach. You demand feed. You eat. You stay hydrated. You drink plenty, plenty water. And listen to... Sorry, he was kicking again. Listen oh. to the cues. <laughs> my little man. So, feet. You see feet? Feet, his little feet. He's kicking in my stomach. He's moving all around. Um, listen to your body when it comes to breastfeeding. Eat the proper nutrition to keep yourself full fed and, and, you know, keep your nutrients up for yourself. Because if your body doesn't have nutrients and nourishment, you can't give anything to your baby. Stay hydrated. Y'all always see my little pink cup of water. I'm always drinking water. These are things that I'm always having near me. I'm always drinking my Boost Plus. Boost, send me something because I be like, come on now, Boost. I love Boost. Somebody get Boost notified. I love Boost. I'm always drinking Boost. This Boost has 360 calories. Easy, quick nutrition that you can grab. Water, easy hydration. Just a big container of water. Um, or just a big gallon bottle of water. The, the gallons of water cost like literally cents. Anywhere from um, 46 cents to um, $2.36, I believe is the most expensive one I saw in the store. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, you know, for the expensive water, you know, the brands and things like that when you go up for the brands. Um... But just stay hydrated and listen to cues. Your body will make what your baby is letting it know it needs. So just demand feeding. If your baby is crying, um, it's not pacifying. It is helping your body generate more milk. It's not pacifying. Um, okay, so let me turn my page here. Myth number five. I can't breastfeed because I'm sick. Okay. You can still breastfeed if you're sick because, like I said in my first myth that I debunked, your body is making antibodies to protect your baby from the bacteria that you're fighting. So that should not stop you from breastfeeding. Now, if you are going through, well, you know, I can't really name anything that you're going through because I've seen cases where mothers were going through breast cancer or some form of cancer and they still breastfed their babies and their babies have been um safe and you know their their body has built up something to keep their babies safe having colds i know for me personally i have breastfed my babies um while i've had a cold my babies have never gotten sick um my mom sometimes watches my video mommy if you're watching comment below the most my babies have ever gotten is a cold and that's from being an adult, I mean, not being an adult, but being a child and going to school and mixing germs from other kids and things like that. But if they have a cold, it's not, it's not long at all. Maybe a day or two, just a sniffle, and something simple takes care of that. But my children do not get sick. They do not get, get sick at all. Um, okay, so myth number six. My C-section won't allow me to breastfeed. Okay, now I've never had a C-section, but I do have friends who have had um, C-sections and um, some of them have asked me different tips and ways to breastfeed. And um, I did a video on different ways to hold your baby and um, C-section 
um, positions are in there as well. I'll post that up here or it'll be in the description box either way so you can get to that. Um, but you can still breastfeed after a C-section. Um, it's just depending on different ways that you hold the baby and ways that you can be comfortable with your incision and while healing um, so that you can feed without causing harm to yourself. Okay, so myth number seven. Breastfeeding your baby. Hold on, let me start over. Breastfeeding makes your baby more dependent. So, um, breastfeeding does not make your babies more dependent. They make them, if anything, more independent. Um, as I've said before, I am a mom of five. I have um, babies ranging from 10 to 6 months. And my older babies are more independent. They play well with each other. They're more independent. They might come to me with a question. Um, now, they are, I am bonded with all of my babies. So there will be times where they just come and lay on me or just stand in the kitchen with me while I'm cooking and want to give me hugs and um, I always accept hugs from my babies regardless of how I'm feeling what they've done I always accept hugs from my babies but they they just want to hug their mommy they want to stand there with their mommy they want to talk to me um, they want to be there with me so you know they make them more dependent um, but I do love those little moments that let me know that you know they're, they're still mommy's babies I still I love those Okay, so that is my myth number seven. And my last myth that I am debunking is that, oh, pain is normal. Okay, so first and foremost, pain always has a cause. If you are breastfeeding and there is something uncomfortable or painful, figure out what's going on. Like I said before, you can talk to a lactation consultant um, maybe the baby hasn't latched properly. Bless you, man. Maybe the baby hasn't latched properly. Maybe the baby has tongue tie. Um, I did a video on that as well. But just figure out what is going on with your baby's mouth um, and positioning of your baby and try to figure out a way that's comfortable because nothing about breastfeeding should hurt. Now, if you are engorged and you haven't fed in a while, that initial latch on can be a little painful. Um, but that's not something that lasts. It's not painful the duration of the feeding. Um, and it's easy to um, recover from. It's not painful to that degree. It's just an initial, whew, and you're good. Um, but like I was saying, if you're having pain, there is a reason for that pain. You can check my videos and try to figure out if there's an answer to your pain in those videos. Or you can talk to a lactation consultant. Um, that is well on by your hospital or your midwifery program or the doula that you worked with. Um, but yes, pain has a reason. Figure out that reason and do not hurt. Breastfeeding should be a beautiful experience, even though some people don't have the best. Breastfeeding should be a beautiful experience for any person who is breastfeeding their child. So there you have it. Eight myths about breastfeeding that I have debunked. I had fun doing this video. And again, it's my birthday. Uh, and like I said at the beginning, I am doing contributions. I am accepting contributions for my birthday. You can check that out in the description box. But be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.